first, we discuss about Symbian operating system. Symbian OS, was originally founded by Sia, developed by Dr. David Potter in 1980. The Sian Organizer is the first handheld computer developed by Sian Cooperation. Epic is a family of graphical operating systems developed by Sian for portable devices, primarily PDS. Osiris is a device that runs Epic system. Epic 16 was the operating system developed by Sian in the late 1980s and early 1990s for Sian's. 16-bit devices. Epic 16 devices featured an 8086 family processor and a 16-bit architecture. Epic 16 was a single-user preempted multitasking system written in Intel 8086 assembler language and C and designed to be delivered in ROM. It supported a simple programming language called Open Programming Language and an integrated development environment called Oval. Later on in 1997, Epic 32 was developed. This operating system supports 32-bit processors, and it was written in C++. Epic 32 was a preempted multitasking, single-user operating system with memory protection. In 1998 Epic renamed as Symbian and Sion became Symbian Limited. The OS was renamed Symbian OS, and was envisioned as the base, for a new range of smartphones. Symbian OS 6.0 and 6.1, was the first Symbian OS series. The first open Symbian OS phone, the Nokia 9210 Communicator, was released in June 2001, with Bluetooth support. Nokia Series 60 UI, a keypad-based UI for the first true smartphones. The first one of them was the Nokia 7650 smartphone. Later on Symbian OS 7.0 released, with Edge and IPv6 support. Sony Ericsson P-Series, Motorola 925, Nokia Series 80, 90 and 60 phones were based on Symbian 6.0. After that, Symbian OS 8.0 released, support with two different kernels called EK1 and EK2. EK1 was chosen by some manufacturers to maintain compatibility with old device drivers, while EK2 was a real-time kernel. Symbian OS 9.0 was used for internal Symbian purposes only. It was produced in 2004. Symbian OS 9.1 an open source development released early 2005. It includes many new security related features, including platform security. Sony Ericsson M600 and P990 based on Symbian OS 9.1. Symbian OS 9.3 upgrades include improved memory management and native support for Wisconsin Phi and HSD Pia, Nokia E72, Nokia N96, Nokia E52, and others feature Symbian OS 9.3. In 26 March 2007 Symbian Limited announced version 9.5 which includes native support for mobile digital television broadcasts and location service. Now let's focus on Android development. In July 2005, Google acquired Android as a small startup company based in Palo Alto, California, USA. At the time, little was known about the functions of Android. At Google, the team led by Rubin developed a mobile device platform powered by the Linux kernel which they marketed to handset makers and carriers on the premise of providing a flexible, upgradable system. On the 5th of November in 2007, several companies came together to form the Open Handset Alliance. They stated their goal for developing open standards for mobile devices and unveiled their new product. Android, 
a mobile device platform built on the Linux kernel. Ultimately Google unveiled its smartphone Nexus One that uses the Android open source mobile operating system. Main features of Symbian operating system Symbian is a very powerful for general purpose development. Designed from the start for mobile devices, the Symbian platform is a real-time, multitasking OS, specifically architected to run well, on resource-constraint systems, maximizing performance and battery life whilst minimizing memory usage. Portions of the platform's source code have already been moved to open source, onto the Eclipse public license. By mid-2010 this process will be complete, making the platform code available to all for free. Close to 300 million Symbian OS-based units have been shipped and Symbian holds more than a 50% market share globally. Application Development in Symbian Symbian is written in C++ programming language. But it is difficult to learn because unusual C++ application programming interfaces, poor debugger support, and Symbian 9 breaks binary compatibility. Symbian debuggers available for latest versions. Symbian has free emulator and many choices for integrated development environment. Cross-platform development is target-related. Must compile according to the target device. Installer package deployed as SIS package. Development tool cost varies, but free tools are available. Android is based on a modified version of the Linux kernel and user applications are programmed in Java. It has many amazing and unique features that are of significance to developers and users alike. Some of them are Application framework that enables reuse and replacement of components. Optimized graphics that is powered by customized 2D graphics library and 3D graphics based on the OpenGL ES 1.0 specification. A debugger integrated in Eclipse and a standalone debugging monitor is also available. We have come to the conclusion of this video Symbian vs Android. In the second video, we are hoping to give an in-depth comparison of Symbian and Android mobile operating systems. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.